Well, during cherry season, this stretch of road is lined with cars, families ready for the picking. But before we can get to that, these buds have to be protected from potential frost during those chilly morning hours. These 35 acres of cherry trees make up Lodi blooms. There's grandparents that, that uh, bring their grandkids out here. A cherry picking tradition among NorCal families beginning with James Chinchillo family's tradition four generations back. At some point uh, there, my grandfather told me a story, story, which I don't, you know, it makes for a great story and I'll just leave it at that. But apparently a really well-dressed Italian man uh, showed up, talked talk to our uh, family, got out of a super nice car, basically told us that we were done with the uh, grape industry and then we transitioned into the, the to the uh, cherry industry after that. But before they can become cherries, these beauties start out as buds. What we're what we're trying to do is we're uh, trying to make sure that we reduce the amount of bacteria that's in the uh, cherry buds. Uh, the bacteria in the cherry buds ultimately allows for the cherry buds to potentially freeze and and not become viable uh, for for bloom and ultimately cherries uh, in the springtime. So these are a little like you know, babies that we want to protect. To do that, Chinchillo has a direct line to Mother Nature, this weather station. Sends me a text message uh, letting me know if we're going to get down into freezing temperatures. That means it's time to blanket these orchards. And that fungicide uh, uh, seeps into these buds and helps helps protect them. I kind of think of it like an antifreeze for, for the cherry buds that, that we apply. Chincholo says they'll do this every four to five weeks, about two to three applications. These buds that actually become cherries uh, somewhere in the neighborhood of about 3%. So if we can increase that to say 4%, that's a big, big win for us. And it's already getting pretty chilly out here as we go through the evening and it's going to get really cold tomorrow morning. But thankfully, Chinchello says that the chilliness we're going to be experiencing during these November mornings, nothing compared to what could come during the springtime. That's the time that these buds are the most at risk of getting frozen. So, of course, Chinchello has some heating mechanisms in place to make sure that they are protected. Live in Lodi covering local news that matters. Kristen Vartan, Fox 40 News.